fly off sideways and not go to space. If you watch the trajectory of the space shuttle, it doesn't go straight up. It always goes in a curve and out to sea. They actually go horizontal, the space shuttle goes horizontal, it never goes any further up, it goes horizontal, um, very, very low down in the, in the atmosphere. You know, it's, it's still in the atmosphere while it's uh, horizontal, so it never gets any higher, and it goes out of sight, not because it goes too high, because it goes too far downrange, and they have a, a plane that's mocked up to look like a space shuttle, uh, that's uh, it's a jet-powered aircraft, that's it, it's not a glider. It's, it's an aircraft, um, and that's what they're fooling us, uh, taking billions of dollars in and giving us images and, uh, and, and fake planes um, for that 10 billion, um, and however many billions of dollars it is. What goes up must come down, um, and literally we have not ever seen anything that um, has ever gone up and not come down. One thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth. There's no place to go. Rockets don't have brakes. It's it literally stopped. All of that angular momentum from the, from the rotation of the rocket and the linear momentum from flying up just stopped. No, it had to have hit something. <laughs> what would have been hit? If it hit a solid surface, the rocket would have been destroyed. Most likely the camera too, so we wouldn't have the footage. And obviously that's not the case. Kicks and deals. It's a long fly ball going back, back, and the ball shatters the sky, bringing the ocean itself down into the stadium. Oh, Simpson just broke this dream's reality wide open. I know we have still not checked that highest and hardest glass ceiling, but someday someone will, and hopefully sooner than we might think right now. Last year. 